Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at an example illustrating how to derive the probability mass function of a derived random variable using the joint probability mass function of the original variable. Specifically, we will look at the probability mass function of a minimum of two random variables x and y given their joint probability mass function. So, in this example, given the joint probability mass function, probability of x comma y is equal to 0 0.01 for values of x comma y from 1 to 10 and 0 elsewhere. So given this joint probability mass function, we want to derive the probability mass function of a new random variable w defined as minimum of the original variables, original random variables x and y. So for this new variable or for this new random variable, we want to derive the probability mass function. So the definition is the summation of the joint probability mass function for all the values of x comma y that map to the new variable w. So for example, the value of w equal to 1 the probability mass function at w equal to 1 is given by the sum of the joint probability mass function for all values of x comma y for which the minimum of x comma y is equal to 1. So by looking at the graphical representation of the joint PMF, we can clearly see that for the values of x, x from, for the values of x from 1 to 10 and values of y from 1 to 10, the value of w equal to 1 is basically given by from values of x from 1 to 10 and from value for values of y from 1 to 10 and the value of w is equal to 1. Therefore, for probability of w equal to 1, we have probability of x equal to 1 comma y equal to 1 plus probability plus sum of the probabilities of x equal to x and y equal to 1. That is, x values vary from 2 to 10. That is, these values. And along this line, that is along the y-axis, we have from y equal to 2 to 10 for the probability mass function, that is, probabilities of x equal to 1 and y equal to small y. That is, these values. So, if you count all these values, it should be equal to 0 0.01 into 1 plus 9 plus 9, which is equal to 0 0.19. Similarly, for probability of w equal to 2, we have probability of x equal to 2 comma y equal to 2 plus, plus the summation x equal to 3 to 10, probability of x equal to small x comma y equal to 2. Plus, we also have y equal to 3 to 10 probability of x equal to 2 comma y equal to small y. So, this is clearly equal to 0 0.01 into 1 plus 8 plus 8, which is equal to 0 0.17. So, for a general value w, that is between w equal to 1 to 10, we have, that is for a value So, so for, for a general value w, that is between 1 and 10, the possible values are these three sets. That is, probability of w equal to small w is equal to first value where we have probability of x equal to small w and y is also equal to small w. That is this value and then we have the values along this line. That is, the summation x equals here x equal to w plus 1 to 10, probability of x equal to x and y equal to w plus the summation y equal to w plus 1 to 10, probability of x equal to small w and y equal to y. So clearly this is equal to 0 0.01 into 1 plus 10 minus w plus 10 minus w. So this is going to be 21 minus 2 w 
into 0 0.01. So, so this is the expression for probability of W equal to W. That is the probability mass function prob P of W is given by 0 0.01 into 21 minus 2 W. We can easily verify this result by looking at the sum from W equal to 1 to 10 probability of W. That is probability mass function of W which is clearly equal to 0 0.01 summation w equal to 1 to 10 21 minus 2 w upon simple calculations we can see that this is equal to 210 minus 110 which is equal to 1 thus we can thus we can derive the probability mass function of a new random variable say in this case minimum of two random variables x comma y from the given joint probability mass function thanks for watching